Good morning. Welcome to the forecast discussion for April 3rd, 2015. It's a good Friday. It's literally good Friday. Uh, so I uh, hope everyone has a uh, religious and joyful good Friday as we get ready for the holiday weekend where we have Passover and we also have Easter. So there's a lot of traveling going on this weekend throughout the northern mid-Atlantic. So let's dive into this upcoming forecast. Well, the majority of activity in our forecast period is going to be basically now on through early tomorrow morning. Currently, we have very mild weather conditions throughout the region. You can see the influence of the Atlantic over portions of southern Connecticut and Long Island where temperatures are only in the mid to upper 40s. However, as you move over towards the New York City metropolitan area and the Philadelphia metropolitan area, temperatures are much warmer with upper 50s to lower 60s throughout the region. To your north and west of the major cities, temperatures range from the lower to mid 50s, pushing into the upper 50s in some locations. So clearly we have very mild weather conditions building into the region and temperatures this afternoon will become very warm. We're looking at upper 50s to lower 60s over the northern interior, mid 60s in the New York City metropolitan area, and upper 60s to possibly even a few lower 70s in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. Of course, all those uh, mild temperatures are going to lead to a price, and that price is going to be showers and thunderstorms. And some of these thunderstorms this afternoon and evening will have the potential to reach severe levels. So on our radar, we currently have widely scattered to isolated showers throughout the region. These showers and thunderstorms will become more widespread this morning. Then we'll see a bit of a breakup this afternoon, or let's say right around noon to about 3 p.m. We'll see a breakup and we'll see some clouds break up. And that's going to be very important to the forecast because it's going to allow the atmosphere to, to destabilize. And as a result, by this evening, as our area of low pressure approaches from the Tennessee River Valley, widespread showers and thunderstorms will approach the region and will have the potential to reach severe levels. So the key time period for this afternoon around noon is going to be very important to determine just how unstable the atmosphere gets and thus just how strong these thunderstorms will be for this evening. Now on the infrared satellite picture you could see the setup which is pretty Straightforward, we have our cold front to our north and west, and we are in a nice breezy southwesterly flow with winds gusting over 30 miles per hour at times today. So it's going to be warm and breezy even outside of these showers and thunderstorms. And then you can see the, each disturbance approaching the region. Now this low pressure system right here becomes the primary low pressure system and rapidly lifts north and east through Pennsylvania and then towards the capital district of Albany by tonight. And so what's going to happen is that we're going to have these waves of low pressure move along this cold front and slowly push this cold front south and east so that by early tomorrow morning, I'd say about 3, 4 a.m., this cold front will finally clear the coast. But before that, we'll be under a constant threat for showers and thunderstorms. So the strongest thunderstorms will be capable of frequent lightning, very heavy downpours, and wind gusts over 40 miles per hour. Watch out for these thunderstorms in terms of these heavy downpours as localized flash flooding and urban flooding will be a threat along with visibility falling below 2 miles. So not exactly the best driving conditions for this morning nor for this evening's rush hour. Again, going back to the radar, look for these showers and thunderstorms to increase in coverage based on the latest model guidance I'm looking at uh, for the region after 8 a.m. So it's going to get uh, pretty wet out there. For the morning commute. Let's take a look at the latest model guides from the Pensa AWOL website, and that of course is the European model guides I'm using this morning. For again today, showers and thunderstorms, temperatures rather mild in the upper 50s to lower 60s over the northern interior, mid 60s in the New York City metropolitan area, and upper 60s to lower 70s in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. For tomorrow, early morning showers followed by clearing skies throughout the day on Saturday. With windy conditions, especially in the morning from the north northwest, around 10 to 20 miles per hour. Temperatures will range from the upper 40s to lower 50s throughout the region for lows. High temperatures tomorrow, lower to mid 50s throughout the region as that polar air builds in. But again, dry conditions by the time we get to tomorrow afternoon. 
On Easter Sunday, high pressure will be in control with scattered cloud cover, low temperatures in the lower to mid-30s throughout the region, high temperatures in the uh, lower to mid-50s over the northern interior, upper 50s to lower 60s in the New York City metropolitan area, and generally lower 60s in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. Again, overall, temperatures are pretty much near where they should be for this time of year, with very pleasant conditions by the time we get to Sunday afternoon. Then the pattern gets very interesting in terms of the potential for rainfall throughout much of next week. Next week looks like to be a rather wet and volatile week. A cold front will approach the region but stall to the north of the Philadelphia and New York City metropolitan area, keeping a threat for isolated to widely scattered showers in the forecast for Monday. Temperatures should generally range from the upper 30s to lower 40s over the northern interior and lower to mid 40s along the coast. High temperatures in the mid to upper 50s over the northern interior and lower to mid 60s along the coast. Then on Tuesday, that cold front still lingering over the region. Look for scattered showers throughout the region with low temperatures in the upper 30s to lower 40s over the interior, mid to upper 40s along the coast. High temperatures only in the mid to upper 40s over the interior and lower to mid 50s in the New York City metropolitan area. Over the Philadelphia metropolitan area, a bit warmer, mid to upper 50s can be expected. On Wednesday, a high pressure system will try to build south from the Gulf of Maine. Now this is going to be very interesting to watch because we're also going to have warm air pushing in. There's an idea that it's going to try out on Wednesday, but I'm keeping scattered showers in the forecast, especially for the Philadelphia metropolitan area, as I think we're going to see a bit of a fight between this warm air surging in from the Ohio River Valley and cooler, moisture-laden air coming in from the Atlantic. So, as a result, look for cloudy skies, temperatures to range from the lower to mid-30s over the northern interior, mid to upper 30s along the coast, High temperatures only in the mid to upper 40s over the northern interior and the New York City metropolitan area, upper 40s to lower 50s over the Philadelphia metropolitan area, with periods of rain possible. Then on Thursday, another round of showers can be expected. Again, a rather wet weekend on the way, with temperatures ranging from the lower to mid 30s over the northern interior, upper 30s to lower 40s along the coast, High temperatures in the upper 40s to lower 50s over the northern interior and mid to upper 50s along the coast with rounds of showers. So again, very wet conditions and showers and thunderstorms today. For the weekend, generally dry, especially after you get to past 8 a.m. tomorrow morning with seasonable, the near normal to slightly below normal temperatures in place. Then for next week, wet and relatively cool out there with temperatures slightly below normal and periods of showers throughout the region through much of the week. So next week is looking rather wet indeed. That's your forecast discussion for today. Of course, I'm your meteorologist, Stephen DiMartino. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather, and as always, stay safe out there.